Good afternoon, everyone. Today we are going to dwell upon a kind of biological subject, or more precisely, hormonal subject. The subject is very important. Most of the time we wonder the why some people are sweet, some are bitter, why some people love everyone like they are people pleasing and others are people poisoning, why some people have more love and affection for others and some people are totally dry, they don't have any kind of sympathy or empathy or any kind of love and affection for others. These are the kind of questions they always hover in our mind, whirl in our brain, but we don't get the answer what that kind of feeling or the lack of feeling is associated with, what kind of hormones play a very important role or what kind of hormones don't play any role, why the people are sometimes dry like a stone, other people are very excited, Prince is charming, they always excite you, they love you, they laugh with you, they talk to you and they go for kicking culture and they go for tea spilling and every single thing they will do. They are absolutely outgoing. They are extrovert. Others are introvert. These kind of extrovert people show lots of love and affection and lots of, you know, excitement, exciting feelings about others, about themselves. And introvert people are so dry that we feel like uh, uh, their face is going to fall. So, what actually makes people to like to excited, to be Prince Charming, to be extrovert, and what makes this, makes other people to be absolutely dull, absolutely boring, absolutely humdrum, monotonous, introvert? It is a hormone, and the name of the hormone is oxytocin. Oxytocin is known as the love hormone. And Dr. Vincent uh, found it in 1950s. Hormone of love. Those people who have a higher level of oxytocin, they are sweet people, they love everyone, they care about everyone, they share their feelings, they actually shed tears if something wrong or something painful happens. Hormone. Oxytocin, but those people who have very scant amount of oxytocin secretion, they don't have ample amount of oxytocin. These people are totally dry. They don't care about anything. They will laugh and make fun of the person who dies. They have no any kind of feeling. They have no excitement. They have no sympathy. They don't have any kind of empathy. They don't have any excitement. They don't take care or share. So when you come across two type of people, one who are extrovert, one who love easy, one who makes you love, and the second type of people you're going to come across is dry, humdrum, serious, like a stone. And you don't like to spend any time with that kind of person, you don't appreciate that person's mood, these people are so so dry, so humdrum that they will actually make you to think of I mean, suicide if you are around them. And if you happen to be spouse, husband or wife of that kind of people, uh, believe me, friend, you have lost your entire existence. So this is the oxytocin that we are going to elaborate today. I have created five points about oxytocin and its function. Point number one is, elevated oxytocin means higher the queen for love, higher the desire for love. If you have higher oxytocin, higher desire of love, means both kind of love, platonic, you can say platonic love and you can say romantic love. You will coo for friendship, you will coo for girlfriend, you will coo for boyfriend, you will coo for people, you would like to spend time with people. You don't like to be all lonesome, all alone, all lonely, but you would like to have, you're going to appreciate a lot the company of people. That people may be your friends, your lovers, your spouses, your family members, whoever they may be. But you need, you coo for company of a person, company of a human being. Point number two is trust, empathy, 
affairs, excitement, are all associated with oxytocin. You see, some, uh, you see a person who is excited all the time, who makes you excited, and he can make you laugh, and he has a lot of friends, you know, girlfriend or boyfriend. This person who has lots of sympathy for others, lots of caring and sharing for others, lots of love and affection for others, this person has very elevated, very high, very hyper secretion of oxytocin. If the secretion of oxytocin is hypo, very low, very scant, these people would be quiet, these people, would be, these kind of people would be always mum, these kind of people would not talk, these people are not going to show any feelings, they are not going to be fun to be around. These people are not going to excite you, these people are not going to make you happy, these people are not going to talk to you or listen to you. This kind of people would be like, do thou but thine. You do whatever your affair and let me do my affair. You do your things, you mind your own business, let me mind my business. Do thou but thine. Point number three. Milk kettles yield more lactal with the jab of oxytocin. Oxytocin is a hormone which, which is jab, which is given, which is injected into the bloodstream of the milk kettles, like cow, buffaloes, and the goat, and all sorts of things. And due to oxytocin, the milk cattle are going to yield 10 to 20% more milk because it excites the cells of the udder of the animal, cattle. And when the cells are excited, cells of the udders are excited, they are going to yield more lactal. Uh, God forbid, and some mother, human mother, has a lesser amount of lactal for her infant, baby, then oxytocin is given so that she will also yield more milk for her baby. So that is also the use of oxytocin. And most of the, I mean, the animal husbandry people, those people who have lots of animals and who do the milk business and all sorts of things, uh, animal husbandry, these kind of people always jab oxytocin to their milk cattles and they can get about 10 to 20 percent more milk. So more milk, more yield of more milk, more yield of money. Point number four, oxytocin prompts people to fall in love every weekend. Sometimes you, you might have come across the person, you know, maybe male or female. They look for love. They're always in search of love. They're always in search of boyfriend or girlfriend. And if, you, if I, uh, if I uh, say this thing in American language, then it is like a person falls in love every weekend. Every weekend, he or she has a new lover, and he or she will say, I'm in love with him, or I'm in love with her. But next week again, they're going to change the partner. Why this thing happens? Answer is oxytocin. Oxytocin prompt them to fall in love frequently. Usually, a person can fall in love one time only. One time. And uh, that person is going to, uh, both who, who actually fell in love with each other, they are going to get married, become a spouse, husband, wife, and live life ever after. But these people whose oxytocin secretion is hyper, they don't fall in love once in a while or once in a lifetime or once in a blue moon, but they fall in love every weekend. Point number five. You you love to love or you love to hate, it's all about oxytocin. You love someone or you hate someone. It's not a magic, it's not mystery. It's just oxytocin. Because of the oxy oxytocin that you have in hyper amount or hyper secretion, you're gonna love everyone. Everyone you're gonna love, even animals you're going to love. But Oxytocin level is hypo, or very scant, very low, very little. You are not going to love your children, your spouse, your parents, your siblings. You are not going to love anyone. But 
your approach to every living being would be hateful, disdainful. You are going to hate every single thing. You are going to say you are going to hate cow, you are going to hate dog, you are going to hate people. Because it's not your fault. But the fault is of all endocrinology that your hormone level of oxygen is too low and you hate everyone. Oxytocin level is high, you love everyone, and if it is low, you hate every single entity on this planet. So when you see someone hating everyone, don't blame this poor guy, because this poor guy is not actually to blame. If you want to blame something, blame his or her oxytocin level. Why he hates everyone? So the oxytocin level is too scant, too low, too hypo. Why he loves everyone? So the oxytocin level is hyper, too high, and elevated secretion of oxytocin. So we are nothing. We are not actually what we think, but we are what our hormones make us. We are all the games played by hormones. Hormones make us what we are. We don't make hormones. We don't make ourselves what we, whatever we are. We don't think or love someone or hate someone by our own way, by our own desire. But it is oxytocin that actually prompt us either to love or to hate. So this is about oxytocin. That's all the time we have. Tomorrow again we're going to talk about something else until then. God bless everyone on this planet. Amen.